Okay, you're on the math 119 uh, mathography.org website. That's mth119.mathography.org. Clearly you clicked on this link, how to use the website. You're watching the video that was linked to that. And I'll go through this with you. So it's basically how to use the website. The website is basically a summarization of the, uh, the course, all right? What I'd recommend you do over here is download the notes. First thing, it says you, you may download and print the notes for free. So I'm gonna click on this. I'll show you what you see when you click on that. Now, some students you're gonna see, you know, do you wanna join Dropbox? Just say, no, thank you if you don't wanna join. Um, over here, this is, I'm gonna close this sidebar because I wanna make the document bigger. And I'm seeing this document over here. Now this document is gonna be the centerpiece of the course. It's gonna be the central repository for what's being taught in the course, all right? Now, let me open up this again. Some students may wanna download it, but I click, click over here. I just opened a sidebar, by the way. If you click this over here, you can see download and you can download this document to your desktop if you decide to do that. It'll be there though, all right? Now what I mean to be there, it's in my Dropbox, it's gonna be there. And um, so let me just close this out and go through the document with you. Uh, for some students, it seems like it's a long document. I just wanna go through it with you pretty quick, carefully. The document, the table is contents. So for example, I, I kind of divide it into sections. I know it says week one, you know, typically we start with week one. I'm not going to say they, they correspond one to one, you know, week one, week two, week three, but I try to follow a schedule, right? So it'd be like a 15 week schedule, so to speak. So if you click on this over here, it's red. So when you click on this, it'll bring you to that section of the material. All right. So I'm in week one. What is it going to do? It's going to cover material. And this is the lecture part of the course. Now, a lot of students have a tough time with lecture. Uh, and again, and I try to keep these lectures super short for you. I try to go through the notes and what I do is I kind of like, you know, you know, I'm not gonna say read verbatim, but I read it to you. I go to the whiteboard, I explain things to you. I also wanna claim for the students that have a tough time following during lecture, you can always watch a spot video. Let me click on this for you. And these are sprinkled throughout the notes. And these are short videos or little spot videos for those students that after they read the section or decide not to read the section, could watch a little video of me going through that section. It's a spot video though. For example, this one over here, it's two minutes long, a little bit more than two minutes, but it's two minutes long. All right, so I'm gonna say, you know, you could do that on your own. You don't need me to point that out to you, but we go through a lecture, really short lecture. And then what we do is we do example questions. All right, what do you know is next to example questions? Videos, you could actually watch a video for this. Now, why do I do that? A lot of students during lecture, space out. They don't know what's been said. They lose track. It goes too quick for them and they can't follow. So this might be a good opportunity after you sit through a lecture to say, you know what? I need to go back over that without rewatching that entire lecture. I need help with problem number one, or I need help with problem number whatever. All right. And then we, we go to another lecture section. I do that. We'll go through that the little spot videos over here. I try to write notes for you. The reason for that, a lot of students have a tough time writing notes, even when they're written on the board. So what I do is I kind of cut to the chase. I write up notes. These are the notes that I would like if I were taking this course, all right? These are what my, my notes would look like, all right? Typed up, of course. Yes, I type them up for you. So that's the general structure, all right? So let me go back to that content. And again, in the content, you know, I'll go through the structure again with you. Week one, I go through a bunch of lecture material. All right. Now, someone's going to say, okay, you do the lecture, you do the examples. When do I get to try? Well, what we do is we have supplemental problem sets for you. Every section is going to look the same to you. Lecture, examples that I do at the whiteboard, and then there's going to be the supplemental activities that you do on your own. Let me go to that. Again, I'm going to click on this. And you're gonna notice there's gonna be questions over here. So I put questions down and put answers down here. I also publish a lecture with all that material done at the whiteboard. Some students like to watch me do homework and you can do that. The goal is for you to do the homework. All right, I'm gonna go back to the, the contents again. And I'm gonna explain how this goes again, all right? It's gonna take time for you guys to learn this, but the bottom line, each section, lecture, 
examples, and then problems for you to work on, all right? There's also gonna be something called related sage code. I wanna to go to that. And let me get to that. This scares some students, it's optional. You'll see me for lecture number one, go through how to use Sage. Someone says, what's Sage? It's a computer algebra system. It's not required. So if something is not required, I'm not gonna bother. Here's why you wanna bother. When you go to NJIT, which a lot of our students do, they're gonna be using a computer algebra system called MATLAB. Here's the deal. All computer algebra systems basically behave the same. They're not easy to use. But throughout the semester, you're gonna see me going to Sage, trying to encourage you guys to try it. All right, what do I do? I give Sage code that's related to the material that you're doing by hand. Why do we want you to do this? To start to become familiar with the bridge. What's the bridge? Doing something by hand, doing something by computer. Now, someone's gonna say, well, if you're always asking me to do it by hand, do I need to learn the computer? No, not in this class. But later on, the problems will get so difficult, you'll have no choice but to ask the computer to do the problem. So I'll go, I'll go through a variety of software packages. The reason I rely on Sage, by the way, because it's free and available, both as a web-based application and as a downloaded application when I download your computer. Other applications I use in class will be Wilfram Alpha and another one, a graphing utility called Grapher. But we'll talk about it. Nothing to be concerned about. All right, let me go back to the contents again. And this is the centerpiece of the course, by the way. We go through this content. And someone says page after page after page. You're right. Week one, week two, or section one, section two, section three, section four. We'll get to the end. There's no doubt about it. We'll get there. This course is not that aggressive with the amount of topics. We'll get through it. And you'll have plenty of opportunity to get your questions answered. But again, this is like a traditional approach, lecture, you try, sage, need additional help, come by during office hours. I want to go back to the course website and that's, I'm going to, I'm going to tell you that that is again. And yeah, you're probably familiar with this. This is math 119, right? And again, if you get to this website over here, what do we do first? You know, I guess you clicked here. You got this video. You're watching the video now, you know, download the notes. Yeah. Download the notes. We just went through that. These notes will provide structure to the classroom, whether it's virtual or real. That means whether we're meeting at Essex County College physically, or we're doing it online, it's really the same stuff. It should not be used. These notes should not be used as an excuse for not attending, by the way, including the videos. We publish videos, please still attend lecture, all right? Whether it's virtual or in person, please attend, all right? These notes include all material, all the materials that are taught and also the assignments that we're asking you to do, all right? Okay, let me keep going. And I'm going to talk about this stuff over here. All right. So this is going to change. Like, for example, this is the spring 2021 semester, but this video applies to any semester. Typically, it's going to say Ron Bannon's whatever. Let's say it's fall 2018, unlikely. But if it says Ron Bannon's fall 2008, not 2018, 2028, what would you see over there? A syllabus. You would click on that. And a syllabus would open. Again, I'm close the sidebar. And what do you see in the syllabus? Again, this is for a particular section of the course, but you see a link to the course webpage, you know, my phone number, office hours, blah, 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 all about the course, you know? Okay, let me close that out. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so syllabus. There's also gonna be a schedule published. Again, this, this schedule is for the spring 2021. Let me click on it. This is typical. I, mean, I, I put my schedule there. Let me expand it again. And what would you see? You'd see you know, class I'm teaching, my office hours and appointment office hours. The office hours are in yellow. All right. So if you want to come by, you know, physical office hours from there, it would be from 11 to 1240 on Tuesday. Now this says Zoom. Let's talk about that next. Let me close this out. That's a schedule. And again, that's a schedule for spring 2021. If you're in the fall 2022, that's what you'd be looking at, all right? So it's gonna change over time, by the way. So syllabus schedule. Then of course, if it's done online, there would be links to Zoom, whether it's lecture. Here's the deal though. The lecture occurs on a schedule. So you need to follow your schedule in your section, all right? 
You don't need a password. You click on this, it'll open up Zoom if your computers are properly configured. All right. Now, granted, I'm teaching this semester, I'm teaching three different sections. Those students would have to know what section they're in and the times they meet to, to go to those Zoom sessions. Also, Zoom rest stations office hours, you would click on this. But here's the deal it's only during the schedule. So when you click on that, I may not be there. I'm only there on a schedule. So for example, let's say it's Tuesday at 1130, spring 2021. I'd be there for office hours waiting for you. You click on that, you go right in. No password required, by the way. You just go right in. Okay, web assign. Uh, again, this could change. Always things are subject to change, by the way. Uh, web assign is embedded in the course now. What does that mean? When you register, web assign is a default assignment uh, for you. Uh, again, if, if you're using uh, an online version of the course, that's already embedded in it. And, and certainly I'll talk about that during lecture time. So archive Zoom lectures, let me go through that with you. You click on that. And what do you see? You see a bunch of weeks up here. All right. So let's say week one, you were totally spaced out during week one. I don't know, you were on a holiday. You didn't attend week one. You felt week one was an unimportant week, but then you can't do any of the homework and you're failing exams. You have to go back and look at it. So let's take a look at this over here. And I want to point out, someone says, oh, there's too many videos for me to watch. I don't know what to watch. Let's go through it. So for example, this one over here is, it says, you know, Math 119, week one intro. All right, this is week one topic. And I, I think you see that when I'm doing that, you know, topic one. This is week one examples one. This is week one examples two. Week one topic two, you get the idea, right? So forth and so on. All right, and here's the deal. Let's say you click on this. You say, I, I didn't understand topic one. Let me click on this. It says the video doesn't exist. What you need to do is download the video to your computer. If you do that, it's gonna be on your computer and your computer, if it's properly configured, will open up the video. It's a 12 minute video. So what you could do is saying, you know what? I need to watch that lecture because I was totally zoned out while that lecture was going on. What do you do? Click it. I'm gonna stop that and I'm gonna go back. All right, I'm not gonna look at that video. You might wanna look at the video, all right? Now, granted, these videos change over time, but that's the structure. All right, let me go backwards. Let me say you get you eventually get to week eight. Let me click on that. Well, there's four videos here. All right. Again, let me go through this. Lecture, examples, sage, homework. That's the typical structure of the notes. Lecture, examples, sage which is optional, but we'd like you to think about learning a computer algebra system. It's gonna make your transition to a four-year institution a lot easier if you can do that. Let me just briefly click on this homework thing. I'll download it. Oops, sorry, let me just make sure. What does it say, can, it says math 19. Oh, it's can't scan for viruses because the file's too big. Let's not worry about that. I'm gonna download it anyway. Boy, it'd be terrible I gave you a virus, right? Anyway, it's gonna open it up. And someone says, oh my God, that's a big file. That homework assignment should take you about an hour to complete. Now, how do I know that? I'm talking through the homework for you. I'm actually doing the homework for you. Some students like to watch me do homework, but typically I will not do this in class. You watch this if you need to watch it. Now, someone says, well, I don't need to watch all the homework. I just okay, need we're to week watch, eight. Uh, week eight is the. Um, Let's say they just need to watch a particular example. Let's say they need to do example number five. What do you do? Just scroll to example number five and look at it. Let's say you needed a different example, like you wanted to look at example. Oh boy, a lot of work over there. Example nine. You scroll to example nine. That's all you have to do. All right, I'm going to close that video out though. All right. And again, those videos are there. No one's charging you. And no, they're not virus. Uh, they don't have a bunch of viruses in it. We still be awful if it happened. All right. So these are videos that we prepare with Zoom, by the way. All right. Let me go back to the course website. All right. So let me see what I said. Download the notes. Information about the class will be here. Ron Bannon section, whatever it is. If it's fall 20, 
22, that's what it is. You'll see a syllabus, a section, a number there, Zoom lecture links if they're available, and Zoom retrospective hours if they're available. A link to WebAssign, archive Zoom lectures. Let's talk about tutoring. At Essex County College, they have tutors available for you if you need them. There's a tutoring schedule over here. Again, this changes over time. That link is always gonna bring you there and there'll be a tutoring schedule. For example, this tutoring schedule over here is for the spring 2021. All right, so bottom line is it's only for 2021. Over time, it's gonna change up. Maybe there'll be a summer schedule, fall schedule, whatever. You know about this, things change, right? As we move forward. All right, let's see if I, I mentioned everything I need to mention. Optional uh, Sage video over here. Again, you can, you can uh, tap that over there, expand the video. I'm not gonna play it, but you could watch a video about uh, introduction to Sage if you want. Don't be overwhelmed though. What I mean by that is don't be overwhelmed okay, by what we're doing here. Website that, Sorry about that. So that, um, uh, might be helpful. I gotta it's pause the, that. The, um, the, 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 this is the central repository for whether we're doing online classes or we're doing in-person classes. Again, notes. Notes are structured. Every single section of the notes will be structured as follows. You are going to see lecture material, no matter what section you go to. Like for example, you go to section number three, lecture material, then there'll be uh, example questions and supplemental activities and SAGE code, right? I notice over here is also an exam number one review. Bottom line, there's stuff over here for you to look at. As we go through the course though, I walk you through the notes, holding your hand page by page. It's incumbent upon you to follow me through the notes. If you have additional questions, it's incumbent upon you to come by during office hours to get those questions answered. I hope this has been helpful. But again, a lot of times being a semester, students are horribly confused. They don't know what the expectations are. Attend class. You're going to learn a lot by attending class. Thank you.